Documenting the content of a cell library is often a necessary task, but can be a tedious process that is prone to errors and update issues. If new cells are added or the graphics of a cell are updated, that documentation needs to be updated as well. So let's jump into MicroStation where we are going to document a cell library using place cell index. Here we are inside of MicroStation and we have the building door windows cell library open. This can be found in the cell folder of the dataset. We're going to begin here by placing a cell index. So as mentioned, the building door windows cell library will be documented using a cell index. So for this, we're going to make the annotate the active ribbon tab. From the cells ribbon group, we'll click place cell index. Now, coming into the tool settings window, we need to set this up correctly. For this, 20 will be our box size. We'll have 11 cells per row. We'll enable the grid lines, the names, and insertion points. And with our tool set, we can now come into the view where we are going to press F11 to give focus to AccuDraw. Then, from the keyboard, we'll press the P key to access the AccuDraw point shortcuts. As can be seen, a pop-up menu will appear at the cursor prompting for either multiple or single points. Here, we'll press P for a second time to select point key in single. This will bring up the data point key in window. From here, we'll type a comma. Then from our keyboard, we'll press the enter key. By entering the comma, the coordinate 00, 0 was automatically used. If another coordinate was desired, this could have been input into the data point key in. Had the active file been 3D, three values would be input separating the values by commas. So now we're going to review the cell index. For this, we'll fit the view and observe the completed cell index. To preserve this camera position, we'll now save the settings. It is important to note here that the frame and label graphics are stored in the active model. Each of the cells in the index are reference file attachments of the actual cell geometry. So we just finished documenting the cell library for our doors and windows. Using the same process, the furniture cell library will be documented. That being said, let's open the building furniture cell library. This too can be found in the cell folder of the dataset. So once we enter completely into graphics here, using the same process and settings, we're going to document the kitchen equipment cell library. We'll fit the view and observe the completed cell index. And to preserve the camera position, we'll save settings. As mentioned, there are three cell libraries that make up our work set. The doors and windows, the furniture, and now we are going to document the kitchen equipment cell library. So we'll go ahead and open the kitchen equipment cell library. Just like the other two, they're found in the cell folder of the data set. Once we enter completely into graphics here, using the same process and settings, we can document the kitchen equipment cell library. We'll fit the view and observe the completed cell index. And to preserve the camera position here, we'll save settings. During this lesson, you learned how to use the cell index tool to document a cell library. A new model was created, the cell index generated, and the display of levels was adjusted to display just the desired content in the cell index. The grid lines in the cell index were stored in the active cell index model, and the geometry displayed for each cell was referenced from each individual cell model contained in the cell library. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.